Alright, we start off by clearing this off and moving everything across. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our pans ready. So you're going to need some kind of pan. This is a, this is a cast iron pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook the potatoes, the tofu, the garlic, and some onions. Well, it would be that easy than we'd have it made. But nothing is ever that easy. I'm going to show you how I do it. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! Now the older leaves are very tough, so those are going to take some time. Okay, wait a minute. We're going back to the oven, the stove top. We're going to use our flipper and we're going to lower the heat. Heat's on low. We forgot a major a little ingredient. We forgot our garlic. Okay, it's brand new pack. So be, okay, fine. With a giant clove of garlic. I'm going to grab all this and we're going to put it back on a, on a frying pan. Now I'm going to bring the, this back up again so that it starts getting hot. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to use a glass lid for this so that it acts like a mini oven in the frying pan. But this is going to wilt the leaves and we can mix it all together. Then we'll add the salt and the, the mustard at the very end. Meanwhile, I get to clean my mess here. Now if you don't move it around, what's going to do, it's going to burn on the bottom. And the reason for that is because there's no uh, oil in, very little oil in here, and also there's no sauce, which is what I normally like to cook with, is sauce. So that's what I'm going to put in next. I'm going to be putting in Classico Tomato and Basil. I'm saving this container. I'm only going to be putting a little bit in here because I'm going to be making some spaghetti. That's how you know it's fresh. And just pour a little bit in. Just a little bit, maybe half a cup. Get a mitt because the frying pan now is hot. And I'll be able to control it. Now you want to do this until the leaves completely melt down. All the flavors mix in. Once it's all mixed, then you add your salt and your and your mustards together. I missed one potato over here. It's probably going to be raw when I eat it. This is the advantage of cooking, cutting all your your items first before putting them in a frying pan. But you know, not, but nobody's perfect. Okay, 
my chefs tell you that if you don't cook everything in the same size, they will cook at a different speed. And that's part, that is 100% true. You'll have one potato that's cooked and the other potato it won't be cooked because it's a, either a bigger size or whatever. So do pay attention to that. All right. I'm going to put it back on like this. Pick up my mess and see you in a little bit. That's a 10 minute cycle. This shouldn't take you longer than 15 minutes to cook. What the hard part is, is getting all the things, all the ingredients cut up. But if you have someone else in your family to help you, the meal can go surprisingly fast. And I see this big, I'm gonna cut this one, see if I can cut it. And I can, oh, it's a purple potato. And though it's hot, it's not cooked in any sense of the word. Yeah, well, I might have to recook that one some other time. Anyway, gonna, okay, now watch. It's not this, we're not talking about a lot of salt here. If you're worried, measure it. And then I'm gonna use one teaspoon of mustard. Now I like yellow mustard the best. My wife's been working on me to eat this all my life. It's taken me that long to love it. Now I like it. Now you can buy ver uh, varieties of vegan. You can buy vegan uh, ketchup, vegan, just about everything else. But some things just don't need it. The only ingredients in here are water, mustard seed, vinegar, salt, white wine, citric acid, turmeric, turmeric acid, and spices. They don't tell you what spices they are. Most likely mustard seed, anyway. So once that's in there, mix it all in there. Try to move it around so that the mustard gets all around. You're probably gonna need about a tablespoon of mustard to get the, the effect of it. A little bit of heat in, in your meal. Don't worry if the tofu gets caught up in your, in your, it's all gonna be one delicious meal when you eat it. Okay. This is on low heat. I'm going to leave it in there. I'm going to put the timer in for another 10 minutes because I want the leaves to be even more wilted than they are. And you can't leave, walk away from this. You can't say, oh, I'm going to watch TV and catch an episode of whatever. You know, for me, it would be as a, The Walking Dead. You have to be here. Otherwise, your food's going to cook, especially in a, in a frying pan, a baked metal pan. You just need to stick around. But this is a very fast meal. Got your protein, you got vegetables, you got starch, you, you got your greens, which will help you against diseases. Let's see if I can cut this. Oh, I managed to cut it this time. That's always that one big potato that was giant. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh, well. How about. Okay. So some of these will be raw. Well, we'll leave them in here for a little while. Set the alarm for 10 minutes and we'll see in a little bit. Okay, so this is the tofu that we cut in for the meal that I'm putting away. This is the what's left of it. You put it in water and you change it every day. If you do that, it'll be t nice and tasty. Otherwise, if you don't put it in water, it's going to be gone like in a day. So you've got to hydrate it. You've got to make it uh, worthy of itself. All right. So then you have to spin it out 10 minutes, what I'm doing. And then what you're gonna have to do is then you scrape off the bottom, you flip it over, and you're gonna have to test the, the potatoes to make sure they're done. Oh, would help if you turn off the timer. Leaves are ready. The chard is well ready to eat. The tofu is well mixed, I can already see that. This makes a giant mess of the stove. This you could feed your entire family with this with a side order. All right, so let's just test it real quick. And cooks, you all all the cooks do this. Take a bite. The potatoes. That was the smallest of pieces too. 
are not gooey. They still have some texture to them, which is what I like. But the thicker ones are definitely not cooked. Actually, I'm just going to add, put the cover back on, cook it on low for another 10 minutes. So we'll see you then. Okay, so now it's ready. Potatoes are well cooked. Just grab yourself some. If you want, you can put this in a large serving plate that your family can eat. Thanks for watching. Now, who do you think is going to get stuck with the dishes? I am. But it's not so bad because it's just a frying pan, a spatula, and that's basically it. And the rest came in, went into this plastic container, which I'm going to stick in the freezer for the next few days. So it's a good, fast, easy meal. But you can see that with a little bit of chard, a little small potatoes, a little mustard, a little salt, you can make yourself a really good meal. Oh yes, the onion and garlics do help too. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.